Hello. I've made another ridiculous script for DF.io. This one even less functional than the last one. <laughs> Makes the game extremely laggy. But you might be wondering what exactly it is, and you might be able to tell by now, but it's a raycaster. What raycasters do is like you imagine a bunch of lines going out of the tank, which is at the center of the screen, and when they intersect an obstacle that's recorded and then like it's drawn on this line over here across the screen as if it's like a first person shooter game so that's essentially what it does, it makes df.io into a first person shooter the weird thing is like I have to disable the UI otherwise I get all these errors and things like I have to disable all the image rendering in the game otherwise it'll glitch so Sadly, I can't have the UI or even scores or anything. I'll find a way around that, but it might be impossible since like, I'll have to have the developer adjust settings on the server, which I have zero access to, obviously. So I'm going to try if I can even like get any levels with this. I can't see the upgrades, but I do have, like, shortcuts and things with the keys, so that might work. And sadly, this thing does lag a lot, and that makes it a bit hard to play, but it isn't too bad. I don't think it affects the ping that much. I can't even check, though. Like, another weird thing is, since it seems like traps are rendered as images, they don't appear as well. So, like, if you're having to deal with trappers, especially in Maze, like, that's going to be really annoying to deal with, because it'll literally be invisible. Unless, of course, I edit the get the draw image function itself to render those things, as well as the text. That might be a workaround that might work. Take a long time, though. I'm not sure if it'll be worth it for something that ultimately, like isn't even going to be playable. Like, I ultimately just wanted to turn this into, like, a first-person shooter game. Like, I wanted to turn DF.io into a first-person shooter with this thing, but it never ended up happening because I had to adjust the control scheme, because right now, DF.io, like, it maintains the same, like, orthogonal directions, like, up, down, left, and right, when in reality I want, like, the W key, for example, to make the tank go forward rather than just up. Because if I'm going to the Right, I'm going to the left over here. W still makes it go up, even when I want it to go, make it go left. If you get what I mean. You know, the side arrows and the back arrow, the same thing applies. They make it go like a certain direction rather than like a direction relative to the way it's moving. So I think like. Now I'm going to go for Sniper or something, or like Ranger possibly, because those are the classes that like might actually benefit a small amount from this. Or no, no, they won't, I'm not sure if they'll even benefit at all, but definitely be interesting to play like a Sniper class or something like this, because it might like be somewhat slightly effective, like even with the messed up the controls, it might actually be kind of effective and useful interesting. And I know it might be like ridiculously laggy to a lot of you, which I understand. This is like the best I could do so far without running into performance issues. I might like improve the performance in the future by like sacrificing some of the colors because I know that on canvas if you have extra colors like, you have to constantly switch color, and that, like, lags it a lot, so if I had everything be a specific color, that would probably decrease the lag. Or if I, like, limited the number of colors by somehow decreasing contrast, or, no, no, increasing contrast or something like that. Like, I could change the total number of colors the canvas has, and, like, compress it or whatever. I'd have to implement the system to prevent like unnecessary color changes, because right now it changes color every single time, even if the color is the same. So I'll definitely have to fix that.
So right now I've run into another problem. I'm not sure like which upgrade where the upgrades are. Can I click Oh, machine gun. Guess left just set to stick with like a random thing. I like just a random tank because I can't freaking see anything right now. But as soon as I have the like image data thing set up, because right now I'm running into a problem where, like, since I'm using stuff from ZEP.io, which is being taken from another domain, I think. Like, I don't know, like, the full explanation for it, but you can't get image data from a canvas to, like, manipulate it if it has images from another domain. Like, the canvas, you get this tainted canvas error because there's cross-origin data, which means that you get... Okay, I think I'm explaining this wrong. The canvas is the method, the... Well, not method... I used the complete. I just, just used the wrong terminology there. Sorry. So canvas is this way of like rendering 2D images in a browser with JavaScript, and you can draw images on it, obviously, and you can get images from different websites. So the problem is, that for a lot of websites, if you get the images from them, you're no longer allowed to export data from the canvas. It's like a security measure. But the canvas is, says it's tainted, so you can't like edit anything from it anymore. And there's like no workaround or anything that I found for this. So what I had to do is I actually had to disable image rendering entirely. So now it just renders like primitives, like shapes and lines and crap. There's everything you see on the screen right now. So since I can't render images, like you don't see the leaderboard, you don't see the score, like not even the text renders. I'm not sure why that's happening. Does text somehow use like draw image, something like that? Might be use that. Sort of suspect so. Considering like none of the text is rendering. Like I might find a temporary like somewhat fix. So like, I could detect the image URL and then draw a bunch of primitives or use my own images from my own web server that actually have like cross-origin and all that enabled. And again, sorry if I sound really confusing or stuff I'm saying doesn't make any sense. You know, let's try to kill a defender. I haven't gone for boss kills in a while. Might be interesting to try killing the defender with all this lag. I don't know. Probably gonna die, but uh How much damage have I done to it so far? Ah, crap. Regeneration timer freaking restarted. Uh, not that much. No, not at all. Hey, I can see things from the dis defender's perspective now. Interesting. So yeah, that's the raycasting script. Okay, I might find a fix for everything in the future, but for now, I don't know. I can't really do anything. This is interesting. I can see it from like the fighter's perspective now. Though, like I can rotate independently though. It's funny.
It might just be fun to like spectate somebody, except I don't know what direction they're turned in, so I can only be able to tell with Factory or Necromancer. But other than that, I won't be able to tell at all. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.